and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Mandy and I am a mother with two kids and a hubby. Um, thank you guys for clicking on this video. So today I am doing the stay at home mom Q&A tag. So I saw a YouTuber known as Mommy and Jacelyn, which is now a dear friend of mine here on YouTube. She is such a wonderful, beautiful mommy with the cutest daughter. So I will link her channel down below um, so you can check her out and let her know that I sent you. Okay, so I'm gonna be answering the 20 questions so you can get to know me just a little bit better in a personal level um, on um, stay-at-home moms and the homemaking, homemaker stuff. So the first question is, have you ever had anyone say anything negative about being a stay-at-home mom? And you know, um, just like other mothers, I've had um, 40 plus hour weeks before um, I had my son and daughter and um, it was a decision between my husband and I for me to stay home because I was making um, the same money as I would have to pay a babysitter or um, a daycare. So my whole check, well mostly my whole check would go to um, the daycare. So there was no point in me working all these hours and taking my daughter or my son to a daycare if the whole paycheck was just going to go to you know the daycare so um, we decided for me just to stay home and um, my husband work and it's better for us because I'm here at home with the kids and I can spend time with them I, I get to um, get to know what they're doing and that's my biggest worry is um, if they're okay so that was both our our main thing is that um, I get to watch them and make sure that they are okay so I'm so happy that um, so happy and blessed that I get to stay home um, with my kids so um, number two is what are the most favorite or um, least favorite part about being a stay-at-home mom of course my favorite part about being a stay-at-home mom is to be with the kids and do it say and play and do that whole thing with the kids um, just again making sure that they are okay and to take them to school and not having to worry about them and all that jazz so my least favorite part about being a, um, a stay-at-home mom my least favorite part, I guess, about um, going to work and bringing home a paycheck, I guess, that's my least favorite part is that um, extra income, I guess, um, just like other mothers, I guess. Um, what are my favorite chores and least favorite chores? Honestly, my favorite chores, um, honestly, I don't have a favorite chore. I don't like to do any chores, if I'm being honest. Um, but I don't like to do any chores, but I, my favorite part is that um, the end result of when it is all clean and done and organized, that's my favorite part, I guess. Um, not doing the chore, but after it's all done and clean and organized, I guess that's my favorite part, but not doing it. Um, my least favorite part about doing doing chores is I guess doing a chore is <laughs> my least favorite part um uh, number four what time do you what time do you go to bed and what time do you wake up um I go to bed about one o'clock um I'm pushing it to two if I'm like either editing or um doing a thumbnail or something for a video um, I usually try to, I, well, I usually push it to 2, um, but I try to go to sleep at 1 o'clock. Um, Lily goes to bed about 9 or 9.30, but for me to like actually go to bed, I need to put my phone and my clothes, my computer, and that's how I will fall asleep. Um, the time I wake up, I wake up around, in the summer, I usually wake, around, wake up around 8, well, I like to wake up around 7 or 8. I would love to wake up before sunrise 
um, just to have a cup of coffee and just have time for myself, look at YouTube, Instagram, stuff, stuff like that. But I usually wake up when Lily wakes up about 8 o'clock. Max, I'm doing a video, silly. Hold on, I'm almost done, okay, I'm almost done. Okay, number five, do I play music or watching or watching something while cooking and cleaning? Um, while I'm cooking or cleaning, I like watching or I like having the E! Channel or Bravo or the Travel Channel like Ghost Adventures or something like that um, on the TV. Um, number six, do you get dressed most days or stay in PJs? Um, I semi get dressed. Um, like I like wearing uh, lounge clothes, something like what I have on right now. Um, I have on this set right here. It's just like a lounge set. I mean, I do wear t-shirts and stuff like that, but most days I like wearing like cute lounge clothes. Um, and then I just brush my hair and basically it. Yeah. And how often do you put on makeup? Um, I put on makeup, I hardly ever put on makeup. I put on makeup when um, I'm gonna film a video, which we're usually doing something or going out. That's when I like to um, do videos, doing something. So I usually put on makeup, but most days I usually do not put on makeup. I hate having stuff on my face, except for my, my anti-cream, anti-wrinkle cream. That's all I like to wear on my face. But no makeup most days. That was number seven. Number eight. What are what are the trouble zones in your home? I would say the most trouble zone in my home would be the kitchen or the kitchen island. That usually um, gets really messy. And then um, my laundry is right next to our kitchen table. Not the dining table. The kitchen table. Our laundry. Um, our laundry machines are right by there, so we're usually throwing the clean clothes on there before we fold them. And it takes about a day or so to fold them, so they're usually there's usually a mess on that table. So I would say the kitchen and um, the kitchen dining table area is my most trouble zone. Uh, number nine, do you miss work or enjoy staying home? Of course I love staying home. I miss work. Um, like, I guess, um, socializing with your co-workers and going out to lunch and stuff like that. I guess I miss that. But other than that, I don't miss working at all. I love staying home with my kids and having everything nice and neat and ready for them. For my, when my husband gets home, dinner's ready and everything's ready for my kids for school. Um, from when they get home from school, so I love, love staying home. I don't miss it that much. Okay, number 10. What is your never-ending chore? My never-ending chore would be um, just picking up um, little things here and there in the house, and the kitchen area is um, the never-ending chore, like dishes and all that stuff. But picking up and dishes is my never-ending chore and laundry what is your way of having me time me time for me is just relaxing laying down um, editing because i love to edit um, youtube videos and um just laying down watching a movie with my husband drinking a cup of tea and looking at instagram reels or um just i guess my phone and editing i guess that's what my me time is number 12 is how often or does your husband chip in at home um my husband does a lot of stuff he does all the laundry um he'll wash dishes sometimes and he'll pick up stuff around the house like if there's mess around the house he'll pick up for me like if there's and he picks up after himself, so that's great. Um, but if he sees something dirty, he'll pick it up, so that's great. And then he'll do, he does all the laundry, so he helps around the house a lot. So number 13, when do you do your chores and do you find it hard to keep up with them? 
Um, no, I don't find it hard to keep up with them because I do stay at home. So, um, I don't really find it hard. My, my, my daughter's seven. No, my daughter's eight and my son is going to be 21. So, um, I don't find it hard at all to keep up with the chores. Um, number 14. What is your favorite room and why? Um, I think every room in my house is my favorite, I guess I can say, because there's a part of every room that's my favorite. So, there's something, there's just, every room has a favorite little part to them. So I guess every room is my favorite my favorite room. I can't pick one because there's there's always something. I, don't know, I can't pick one. <clears throat> uh, number fifteen. My favorite cleaning product. Um, honestly, I can't think of a favorite product that I like. I think they're all okay. So I can't find a favorite cleaning product. I think they're all right to me. Um, what is your least favorite room? My least favorite room right now is my closet um, because the racks fell down um, because we had too many clothes on the racks and the racks fell down so it's a mess right now so I'm in the process of cleaning it and organizing it and fixing it so right now my closet is the least favorite room in the house and it's also small. I have a small closet so <clears throat> that's my least favorite. Uh, number 17 do you feel like your home reflects your style it kind of does because it has some parts that I do like of it has some parts that I do like but it's not finished I wish I, I had it all done but it's my um, in the process of um, remodeling it I guess so there's only little things that reflects my style I wish it had more but honestly, no, it does not reflect my style right now. Just maybe a little bit. Um, number 18. What does your home smell like? My home smells like, um, I guess like floral, springy type candles. I like floral, pink, yellows, white candles. Um, I guess there's cleaning. I guess there's... Um, there's cleaning scents, there's autumn scents, and then there's like the springy floral scents. I guess mine is more springy and floral scent. So, my home smells like that. Number 19, what are your strong points or weak points when it comes to homemaking? I think my strong points are having um, my house um, as far as like the cleaning, the cooking, the kids, and all that stuff taken care of, I think that's my strong point, having things organized um, for the family. My weak point um, is trying not to let the, the cleaning and all that stuff stress me out. So that's my weak point, is not going berserk when I see something unorganized or chaos in my house <laughs> okay so number 20 do you get distracted um yes i get distracted a lot when i'm doing cleaning in one room and i'm cleaning that one room and then i go to the other room and i see things and then i want to clean that room and then i go to another room and i see things that need to be cleaned and i start cleaning that room and i still haven't even cleaned um, I still haven't even finished with the other two rooms and I start doing another room so I do get distracted when I see other rooms that are not in order <laughs> but that is it you guys that's the last question I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to do this video please tag me so I can watch your video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you enjoyed the video, please give me a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And that is it, you guys. I will see you on my next video. Bye, you guys. You only call me on the weekends when you're out and about. Only chasing highs, you need me. He brings me flowers.